Intel's new mini gaming PC kit based on the 8th gen Intel Core i7 with Radeon RX Vega MGHNUC, formerly codenamed Hades Canyon. It really needs to keep that name. Intel in fall 2017, chip making rivals Intel and AMD made a splash when they announced a lower power processor combining Intel's 8th generation series of Core IH series CPUs with AMD Radeon RX Vega M discrete graphics. They did NT offer much in the way of details at the time, and at say 2018 Intel followed up with specifics and more. The new G-Line targets the same gamers and content creators that systems based on NVIDIA's MAXQ Mobile GeForce GPUs do people who need smaller, lighter laptops that punch way above their weight, such as supporting VR. The G's combine the Core IH series CPUs with a custom version of the Radeon GPU in much the same way AMD's own Ryzen 2500U and 2700U do. Because Intel doesn't use AMD's Infinity Fabric technology, which allows AMD to mesh its modular die architectures together, Intel developed its own embedded multi-die interconnect bridge EMIB to connect the CPU with a high bandwidth memory HBM2 AMD uses with its GPUs. The packages are much smaller than previous offerings and use less power, enabling smaller devices that dare the same performance as larger predecessors. Intel initially plans two different tiers of processors, which will come in Core i5 and i7 versions, based on the target power requirements of the systems. The core processor with RX Vega MGL graphics low is designed for thin and light systems in which the total power draw of the package doesn't exceed 65 watts while C models from Dell and HP at the show. These will be the core i7-8706G, i7-8705G and i5-8305G and incorporate a 20 compute unit version of the Vega, Intel Intel the other tier is designed for systems that can handle a power draw of 100 watts, compact desktops and alanones, for example, or what Intel refers to as 1.2 liter systems 73 cubic inches. The HP Omen X Compact Desktop, the VR backpack, is about 234 cubic inches in comparison, they will be Core i7 only, and use the Vega MGH High Graphics which have 24 compute units. Those are the i7-8809G and i7-8709G, and the 8809G is fully unlocked so you can overclock the CPU, GPU and graphics memory. Those are incorporated into Intel's new NUCs, such as the scary compact gaming system above. The locked version model is NUC8i7HVK and the unlocked model is NUC8i7HNK. The GPUs bring with them all the capabilities of the line, including FreeSync 2 support, DisplayPort 1.4 with HDR and HDMI 2.0B with HDR10 support. I call out the computer in its spec, which is sort of analogous to the number of cores a CPU has because it provides an interesting comparison between the aforementioned AMD Ryzen mobile processors with the Vega GPUs those have only 10 CUs. But never fear the G-series processors will continue to include Intel's HD 630 integrated graphics as well, in case you were worried about that. In total the two graphics engines can drive nine monitors provided the relevant connectors are all available. Intel plans for these chips to enable a forthcoming cloud gaming platform with Game and Artisan as well, which would put Intel and AMD in competition with NVIDIA's still in development GeForce Now. All the cool new gadgets at say 2018 PC preview what to expect from laptops, desktops and tablets at say this year. Say 2018 CNET's complete coverage of tech's biggest show.